This episode picks up after the one-sided battle between Cassian and Ralph the Clown. In a city brimming with people, the news reporter mentions how there is an outcry to what the psyker did to the bank robbers that he used excessive force, and how the Human Rights Committee officially sent a request to Lampus to punish Cassian Lee for his ruthless violent acts. Lampus is the name of an international organization of psychers. Now in Washington at the Lampus office, Tuppence Schiller Rank S is a psyker, her ability is light being that she is a mage, she also is the director. She begins to question Cassian if he is a villain. Cassian, getting frustrated, crumples his cup. Cassian, now pissed off, tells her how she could compare them to him. Tuppence Schiller fires back with what he did, and how with his recklessness Ralph got away, now the public has turned their back on them. Cassian tries to justify himself by saying how those bastards had laid their hands on a hostage. Tuppence Schiller explains, that is the reason why he should have been more careful, that hostage safety comes first. He should have known that already. Cassian says he was confident that he could be saved them unharmed. The director getting visually pissed off. Tuppence Schiller demands that if he is a psyker, he should act and think like one, telling him to think rationally and to act calmly. Just cause he thinks something is right, that doesn't mean it is. The director really mad tells him to look at the consequences and how what he did isn't much different from a villain. Tuppence Schiller suspends Cassian for the time being and warns him to stay out of trouble. Cassian storms out of the Tuppence Schiller's office, annoyed by the director calling her a cold-hearted iron witch. Cassian wonders how Jeff could even befriend someone like that. Cassian, ready to get out of the building, gets a sudden phone call. The person calling is Jeff. Cassian, confused, why is Jeff suddenly calling, questioning him? Asks where he was at. Jeff said, Rhodes. Cassian, confused, yells, Rhodes, is that in Greece? Shocked. Cassian arrives at Rhodes International Airport. We can see Rhodes is a beautiful major city. Cassian, inside a tea shop in Rhodes, mentions how nice it is there and should thank Jeff. Thinking to himself, that it has been a while since the last time he has seen Jeff, the last time being about six months. Cassian spaced out and remembered his past times in the orphanage, amazed at the animals moving and excited wonders if they were alive. Jeff says there are just dolls that he can make moves with his abilities. Still awed by his abilities, he tells him if he is going to be a psyker where he can beat up villains and be on TV. Jeff is not sure, he thinks he is not good enough. Cassian, younger self, ensures he is wrong and he is cool. That was two years ago, after he was sent to an orphanage in the U.S., Cassian missing those days where he didn't have any worries. Some time later, the tea shop is now closed. The sun is starting to set. Cassian is still waiting for Jeff in front of the tea shop alone with no one on sight. Cassian notice it's late already and not responding to calls thinking something happened. Cassian! Jeff appeared from behind, hurt. Cassian still confused. Jeff. Cassian asks what has happened to him and if villains were behind it. Jeff flops down to his knees not having strength, in a fragile state. Begins to talk about how he shouldn't have brought Cassian there. Cassian asks what he is talking about. Jeff hands Cassian a mysterious necklace. Cassian saying that's not important right now and that he is hurt real bad. He says he's fine, then coughs up blood. Cassian now visual concerned. There is no time. Get out of here. Screaming at Cassian. If not, he would be in danger also. Still not understanding, he starts to call an ambulance. Cassian notices something looks over Jeff's head. A mysterious figure coming from the pitch black shadows with a sword and white glowing eyes in all black approaches. Who is there? Jeff, terrified, and with the last bit of strength he has, shoves Cassian. Jeff glares at the black figure, now sprinting toward him. With his sword, slashes neck right off falling back. Cassian, in a state of shocked, seeing his friend head detaching from his body, his head in front of Cassian on his knees, traumatized, not being able to comprehend what just happened, calling out his name. The figure dashes on top of a roof, escaping. Cassian, mad, starts to chase the person who just beheaded his friend. Cassian followed the killer to a coast of the ocean. It was dark. The moon was bright. Cassian, finally catching up to the killer, exhausted. You bastard, did you do it for revenge or did someone pay you to do this? 
Cassian, not caring what the reason it is, is ready to fight, begins to charge up his flames, stating he will fry him where he stands. The unknown person told Cassian that he is talking with his foul language again, Cassian shocked. Jack? Turns out the killer was an other psyker, a rank S. He is a knight, his ability physical so like combat and strength. Cassian still wondering why Jack has killed Jeff shaking with anger. Jack stating he was merely taking out a traitor. Cassian not sure what he's talking about. Another person comes behind confirming Jeff is a traitor. The woman claiming that Jeff has killed one of them and have proof of it even Lampus leaders know of it. It is another pisker from Lampus. Her name is Lyra, rank S, a mage with the abilities of ice. Jack mentions that Cassian is also a suspected of treason. Questioning Cassian, when was the last time he spoke to Jeff glaring at him and to tell them what exactly they were talking about? Cassian says Jeff was working as a psyker for more than 10 years and he has not killed a single person. And you are saying he killed a psyker. Lyra reminding there there are two other top class psyker. And to not do anything rash, Jack telling Cassian you're a psyker. So act like one. And this is his last warning. Cassian smirks and says, yeah, you're right. I am a psyker, so I should act like one. Rational and calm, Cassian with bloodlust. Now looking to kill them starts dashing towards Jack with his hands being on flames. Jack quickly pulls out his sword with his right hand, throwing out a slash. Both face to face, Cassian lands a power blow with his right fist. Jack blocked and jumped back. Sword on hand, it began to glow blue and used a technique called Shadow Sword, making six other sword appear. Lyra joins him in the battle with her ice, prepares a cold blast. Cassian ready to take both of them on. Jack and Lyra both firing off their attack hit. Cassian taken back a little, then dashing towards then to attack. A loud bang was heard, nearly missing Cassian's head, but hitting his torso area. Cassian in pain flops down to his knees, realizing the other psyker was a sniper. Lyra telling Cassian to surrender or the next shot will go to his head if he doesn't cooperate. Cassian with his crazy ass tells them to go to hell, firing his hand up, attacking them with his technique called Hellfire, causing a massive explosion, sending Jack back and making Lyra block. Cassian began to ran it, using it as a distraction. He jumps off the cliff onto the ocean. Another loud bam, he got shot middle air. He fells towards the ocean below, splashing into the ocean. Cassian was slowly losing blood while sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Cassian in his thoughts not wanting to go out that way, wanting to at least get revenge. The necklace begins to light up and glow. At a bathroom now, we see a kid in a toilet about to die because of some bullies. The bullies, like the cowards, they are flee the scene. The water bubbling with the head inside the toilet. He was alive pulling out his head out of the toilet drench in water with his necklace glow. Huh? If we can get the amount of likes shown here, I will upload next episode as soon as I can. Please leave any feedback on the comments below. So with that, I want to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys later.